And another school in the Permian Basin has come up with a way to entice teachers to work for them. A brand new infant care center has been added to the Trinity Schools and Ch Children Enrichment Center. This comes after learning last fall that five of their teachers were expecting. News West 9's Lauren Ailes has the story. It's a decision most soon-to-be mommies have to make, to keep working or take some time off. But fifth grade teacher Jessica McMullen already had her mind made up. I never wanted to stop working. I always knew that I wanted to come back, so we knew that we had to find a daycare for sure. But after months of struggling to find one, McMullen had no idea her school had something up their sleeve to accommodate to her and four other employees. A brand new infant care room for the new year. What were you thinking when you heard that news? I was thinking, this is fantastic. Like, the best, the best thing that I could imagine. <laughs> Which McMullen says were the exact thoughts of the other four teachers struggling to find one in the Permian as well. You know, in a community like this where um, daycare is in such high demand and you may get a spot, you may not, there's a possibility of losing an employee if they can't find a daycare. A true staple in the community. And before, Trinity's Enrichment Center earliest program available was for two-year-olds. Trinity has what they call lifers, which is a student who has been here since pre-K, and then they graduate high school having gone to Trinity the whole time. Well, our babies are going to be like true lifers. McMullen says it's now an option to help with employee retention. Doesn't think her situation could be any better for her and her little one. It's really something that goes through your mind as a new mom, like, am I going to be able to go back to work? How is it going to feel to leave my child with someone I don't know? And bringing her here every day gives me peace of mind because I know these people and I know that they're taking the best care of her. In Midland, Lauren Ailes, News West 9.